So ladies and gentlemen, I give you the 2024 Ducati Pentagon and V4Rs of the new OnlyFans Racing Warhorse Ducati team. Let's see the bikes. Oh, that's badass. Yeah. All right, what's up guys? Jared Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. Today is gonna to be a really fun video. Uh, we're actually heading to the Poconos. We got invited to War Horses Ducati race team unveiling event. And um, we're gonna go up there and hang out, see the bikes, see the riders, see their new sponsors, and just do a classic vlog here on the channel. So we're also testing out a new camera, the DJI Pocket 3. So we're shooting in 4K. Um, so let us know what you think of the quality. All right, we got the GLE loaded up, our new ride. Also, when I did my Everything We Hate About Our GLE 63, uh, YouTube informed me that this has a heated steering wheel. Look at that, never even noticed it. Nobody knew it, even the Mercedes dealer didn't know that it had a heating steering wheel. It doesn't even mention it online at all anywhere. Um, not, so not only does it have a heated steering wheel, it actually works really well. And um, that makes me super happy. Oh, let's, let's get a cold start. I wanna see how the microphones are on this DJI. People were asking me if I was gonna get an exhaust for it. Um, I don't I don't think we are. I think we're just gonna leave it as it is. If I did anything- Is it in comfort? Is it change the sound? It, oh, because cold start, maybe it does valves open regardless. No. Yeah, you're right. Huh. Not changing. Okay, so you don't have to do that for a cold start. Anyway, I'm gonna drive, so she's gonna hop on out. What are you doing? Taking my jacket home. Oh, there's also a new, uh, there's a new motorcycle over there. I gotta be careful I don't show them before <gasps> the reveal. You can't, you can't see it. Yeah. No. All right, I wanna see how the um, Pocket 3 does with capturing audio. Is it gonna shift? Holy shit. <laughs> I didn't want to go that fast, but I couldn't shift because I'm holding a camera. Um, Teen, do you want to hold this real quick so I can shift it? And all this footage is stabilized by a mechanical gimbal, so it should be... Let me down shift here. It actually sounds pretty good as it's broken in a little bit more. So one of the reasons why I'm so scatterbrained is because I've been staying up really late the past couple of days reading stuff about Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies in general and um, people always say that we like flex our cars and our motorcycle purchases and like materialistic things that depreciate in value but it's for our businesses um, and they always are asking like hope you're paying your taxes hope you're making investments we make investments it's just not a fun thing to talk about or show here we go click the button we bought some stuff you know like what like I know there's channels that do like investment advice and all that kind of stuff but I don't feel like we're qualified to do that that's why we have like a financial advisor and shit but I will say we do have investments and one of the investments that we have is cryptocurrency and in the past week I won't give you an exact number but we made tens of thousands of dollars on crypto and I highly recommend I highly recommend you go and research and look into Bitcoin and Ethereum, which are two of my favorites. It's pretty remarkable, especially when you learn how the monetary system works, the central banking and stuff all around the world. What's your opinion on it? That's what I want to know. I would love Everyone to know Everyone watching, like, what do you think about crypto? About cryptocurrency? What do you, and what do you think about Bitcoin? Yeah. So there it is. They have chicken. I thought, I thought you were going to say talk, something about, you were gonna about it. Talk about you were, I thought you were going to say something. You're holding the camera. Yeah, but I always hold it and you talk. Jeez Louise. Anyway. Well, the whole point of that was Jerry wanted want okay. me to film Dave's chicken and say that it was it's garbage. We bought so. it. There's all this hype around it. Actually, my brother's son, Nate, told us it was like amazing. They went and got it. Of course, God he's an 18 tier. Year old it's kid. amazing. Yeah, he gets caught up in the hype. So we went and got a sandwich. It was it was terrible. We both First didn't of all, finish it. it. It was it was a normal chicken like strip that they just threw in a bun. Like a chicken finger, like a chicken anyway. finger, like with big tenders. It had so much like stuff all over it, like dry rub. It was all over the box, all over everything, the bun, the every, and it was like it looked like a little craft single piece of cheese that they put on the top, and then the fries were like mushy. And the buns were super tiny compared to the amount of expensive. chicken, and it was expensive. And then by the time you get forever. to the end, it's like the. Yeah. I only anyway, took it, honestly, the I bun took- The like soggy, you know? I took like a few bites of it and I was like, 
this ain't it. I, I would much rather eat um, It would have been Chick-fil-A. great if it was like Chick-fil-A where you get a piece of chicken that fits within the bun yeah. and that's it. I, I would have gone back if it was like that, but having like a chicken that could be six inches long, yeah. trying to eat it on a three inch, you know, bun. Okay. Tell us more about your three inches and six inches. Um, if you guys have had Dave chicken, I'm curious. Do you guys like it? Do you not like it? And if do you? And if you do like it? Oh my God! Why oh, did that ram what just, just take happened? off? Holy I'm shit! I'm so that kind of scared me. Was he racing us? And I, I didn't think know so. it. I think so. Shit. Maybe he knows who you are. Did we lose? All right, we definitely lost. That wasn't street speed, is it? I don't know who that is. He has a Ram TRX. Later let's edition. let's let's see. Get his license plate. No, we're not getting his license plate. Is it? No, I don't know who it is, it's but he was looking at you. Oh, okay. Well, if you watch well, the video, it sounded, lost. Pretty, it sounded pretty good. What? He lost. I did. All right, look who we picked up. Tina Bobinski and Reese. Real names Austin and Teresa. But we got Tino. We don't need to say that. Reese yeah, why are you? What? Reese and yeah. Tino. <laughs> I know, because then people don't know what I'm saying. So we got teens, Tino, Reese, and Jerry. Jarrett. Um, Jerry's my grandma's name. Yeah, that is true. <laughs> I actually hate when people call me Jerry, except for my brother. Hey, show him this right here. So the car is currently driving itself, and we're about to die. So Ryan, I hate this driving next to trucks. Okay, we need to get, hold on. Ugh. Let me just get over. I, I didn't like that situation. It actually gets over when you put on the turn signal and stuff. It'll do it, put all that for you. But it has augmented virtual reality for the navigation, <clears throat> uses the front camera and pops up. I can't show you right now, we don't have any exits and stuff. Um, but it's driving itself. I'm getting a back massage with my heated seat on. And I gotta say it's pretty good. What do you guys think? Well, and they don't have massaging seats, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Why. I thought <laughs> I was an option. My heat control. <laughs> I just, I just wanted to be even. <laughs> so the road trip begins. Here we go. All right, we have arrived. It's actually really pretty out here with the layout. And they have a big golf course over there too, which I never knew about because I never cared about golf. But Mount Casino, Mount Airy Casino uh, Hotel and Resort and Spa and Golf Club. Look at this. It's actually beautiful. It really is. I love this. We do photos there. They have a beautiful, there's the casino up there. We'll take you guys over. We got to register real quick. All right. Here we are in our rooms. Um, they actually put our rooms right together, which was super nice. So my brother and his wife are right next to us. We got a Lakeview room suite with the king. There's a golf course out there that I was talking about earlier. Actually looks really nice. So we're gonna have to come back and definitely play that um, once it's nice outside. But yeah, here's the room. It's nice, you got a TV. We got a king bed. Um, it's actually a really nice hotel. It's modern, it's nice, it's clean. Everything looks nice, uh, plenty of space. Got my suit hung up in there. We got a nice little selfie mirror. There you can see the little camera we're using. Look how tiny this is. And it's discreet too. So like people don't really notice that we're filming, which is nice. We don't have like a big camera. This is what I'm wearing. The shirt Phil gave me. My like one nice shirt that I have. Some uh, jeans and just my regular shoes. I didn't want to bring an extra pair of shoes. Tina Wiener, do you want to show me your outfit? You look, you look nice. I like this, uh, this outfit. Actually, like a... stand the other way so it's backlit. There we go. So you got your, um, are these your flare pants? Flare pants, the Jeremy. These aren't as big though. These aren't, these aren't that bad. Like that's a. I only have one pair. That's a nice it's amount the same of flare. Jerry always make fun of. Mm -hmm. You look nice. And then the top is just, you know, tropical, it's got palm trees. Look at the booty on that. Turn so. around again. Woo, she got some junk in that trunk. Shake that booty. Mm -hmm. And then here's the bathroom. Um, very nice lighting in here. It's not harsh lighting. It makes you look really nice. You notice that teens? Mm -hmm. Look how nice it makes you look, right? Look at us, oh my god, we're not wearing sweatpants. No, for once. And then you got your shower here, which is nice. You could film some content here, teens, for your OF, you know? Mm. And then some, and, and it's kind of crazy because this is really low light in here and that's what this camera does really well. Look at how nice this looks. Freaking awesome. Then I can just go boop, swap, swap it. Now I'm talking to you guys from this angle. Pretty freaking amazing and I can see myself no matter what I'm doing. I like it. I don't know why, but every hotel, um, like long hallway, reminds me of like the scary movie, The Shining. And yeah, she does look like a '70s outfit. Reese, are you excited for your birthday? Yeah. 
Everyone wish, here. Everyone wish Reese a very happy birthday. That's why we did this trip. It wasn't for the racing team unveiling. Not at all. Look at this. So that's the lobby down there. And then this is the casino level right up. That looks beautiful right there. That is super dope. Isn't it, teens? How beautiful is that? We could take nice photos right here. Look yeah. at that. And even down there, too. Hey. Even this in the background looks beautiful. There's the casino floor. We were just talking about um, the last time we were here was in 2018? Yeah. We were living with my mom. That's when we literally... Came for his birthday. Yeah, we literally qu we quit our jobs and we didn't have any jobs at the time and we were starting YouTube full time. That's the last time we were here. We literally had no money, which is crazy. Yeah. We still don't have any money because no. I put it all in Bitcoin. All right, we just got seated. We're having dinner at Bizteca, their Italian restaurant here, celebrating Risi Poo. Um, how did it? Hey, how did it look? We were just trying to do uh, a boomerang. A boomerang. Jared puts Tina to work. Oh, he's gonna you a forgot job? to pull out. <laughs> he just sat there and didn't move. That's my team. There he is. But hey, cheers for the YouTube fam. There it is. Look at this. They got chocolate martinis. Is that what you got? Uh -huh. Chocolate martinis. And then I got a uh, Italian old fashioned. And Tino got Manhattan. Manhattan. How is it? Delicious. Is it good? Yeah. I'll give them a. Uh, I'll give them a first impressions. Ah, it's phenomenal. All right. So Tino did the first boomerang, and Reese did the other one. So you, look, <laughs> look at the difference. Look. Look how good the one on the left looks that Reese did. Look at poor Christina's head's cut off. <laughs> Tino never moved. <laughs> he completely fell apart under the pressure. Uh. All right, appetizer has arrived. We decided to go with the crispy calamari. And incredible. this looks amazing. Yeah, Someone try it. Yeah. Oh, what, what are you doing? He's going to it. I know, but did you just he drop it on purpose? No, I put it all in one spot. Oh, no. no. We really weren't really asking for that. Wow. Wow. You really you, you, <laughs> did I ruin it? Yeah. <laughs> Someone try it. For love of God. Is that ketchup? What is that? Let's go. It's is it? Do you think we're, we're at a fancy Italian restaurant? You think they're serving it with ketchup? No, oh, I'd eat it Enjoy with ketchup. The <laughs> hmm? I'd eat it with ketchup. Would you? In Lebanon, when I was younger, I used to eat just Poop pasta holes. with that too, but pasta with ketchup. Like that's that would be my dinner, just pasta and I just spray a bunch that's of ketchup. That's some serious immigrant that's what stuff right there. Yeah. Just be careful because there's a lot of lemon seeds in there. <laughs> <laughs> is it good? It is. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. Let's see Teen's reaction. A little citrusy. A little citrusy? Oh, it's really good. Is it good? I like it, yeah. That's all that matters. Yeah. Alright, birthday girl's trying trying the wine right, for us. Let's see. Hold on. See how good spin she is. It, snip it. it. <laughs> Sip it and then spit it back in. <laughs> 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 what year is that? <laughs> 2020. Oh, I would have guessed 2018. <laughs> it's a very good. Year. It's a very it's a good. Great year. <laughs> All right. So after a couple of old fashions, we're getting our uh, sustainable VIP, VIP wine. What are you saying? Sustainable ground, it says on here. Oh, okay. 20 acres. Let's take a look at this. I've never seen a bottle of wine with a tractor on it, but I do have to admit it's very, very good. good. 20 acres by Which Boggle. Which means it's probably good wine for you. It's, it's a, a vintage of, it's cap. A it's like from Cali? Like oh. 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 I was telling them earlier, the best wine I've ever had was actually in Northern California. California in the 1870s. Wow. family began farming. We, we used to live in Santa Barbara and we drove up from Santa Barbara to um, San Inez. Oh, yes. oh, that's why it's called yeah. that. Uh, we drove up to San Inez and the owner of, of Budweiser start, sold Budweiser, so the previous owners, um, and they started a uh, winery in San Inez and we got to go up to their um, uh, winery and Actually, they had like their estate there as well, and we got to hang out and meet them. They had like all kinds of different animals on there, um, zebras, and what all? weren't you all about it? Camels, zebras. Mm -hmm. They had donkeys, and they had the Clydesdales. Yeah, it was super cool. Beautiful. The ones you see in the commercials. Yeah. Yeah, literally, they had. Isn't them. it? Uh, uh, what's this? The horsepower? One Clydesdale. Yeah, it was one horsepower. horsepower. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, on back here, it tells you the the fruit. I flipped it. The okay. body, this, the acidity, it tells you for their cabs. Very, very, very cool. 
All right, food has arrived. Look at this, guys. I got a filet, medium, with some demi glaze. And garlic. And... Asparagus, asparagus. and mashed potatoes. I guess Tina Wieners is taking over. <laughs> he talked too slow. What did you have? Chicken parm. Reese and I split it, and it's the perfect amount. Actually looks amount. very good. Reese, you got the same thing? Yep. Tina Babino. <laughs> What are you having? I don't know. <laughs> Truffle <laughs> fries in a filet. I got this. I'm not sure what to do with this. <laughs> That's what he's having. Thank you very much. Yeah, there it is. Look at Thank that. Thank you. Of course. Happy Talk birthday, Reese. Chocolate gelato with like a wafer. That looks good. You gotta make a wish, And the candle's like stuck on it. And blow it out. And then don't tell anyone we, your okay, wish. He's still here. <laughs> <laughs> so messed up. Look at these idiots. Out. I should pull out. I doubled my money. Oh, I'm five in. I never, you never pull out, Christina. Everybody you knows that. Pull out. Really? That's how babies are made. What are you doing, Reese? I don't know. All your money's Reese gone? down already. I am down. <laughs> Look at this. In the end of the bathroom, did you guys have like a, a bunch of needles and shit no. like, on the side? <laughs> Stop what? it. He's. I'm not kidding. Go. If you what does that to... even mean? Uh, I don't. There's like. Are there drugs in there? No, I think it's like diabetic. <laughs> Oh. oh! Okay. Look at this action. Lean forward a little bit, teens. Just lean forward a little bit. Oh my. All right. The first money has been lost. Reese's five dollars went just like that. Just like that. It was literally about a minute, a minute and a half. Christina's first bet she made, she doubled her money. I doubled money. my money. Now where are you at? She's at six dollars. Now I'm down to six again. Oh please! So. It's gonna be gone in a minute. We're gonna keep track of how much money we lost this week. Um, That's free, what we're gonna do. Eight, total free, I got eight free games. Make your guesses in the comment oh. section below. All right, teens wanted to walk into the high roller room. She thinks she's I a high- I was wondering why this was high roller. She thinks- You're betting she, dollars rather than cents. Yeah, she thinks and she's a I've high roller. I've never done one of these types. It's always the push button. So it takes five bucks minimum, so let's go for So five. one spin. One spin She thinks she's gonna hit it on one spin. I'm not gonna hit it, but I just want to the experience? This All one's right. cooler. First time ever. Up, yeah. Why don't you do the little? $100. Oh. $100. Okay. Fair enough. Here we go. Okay, ready? Cross your fingers. What happened? Oh, maybe you're not allowed to. Maybe you have to press this. I think you have to choose your bet. You play ma play max. Hit the max. There. Now you can probably use it. All right. Ready? There it is. How's it feel? About 10 bucks now. <laughs> 10 bucks. <laughs> what what just happened? Stuffy here is betting. Huh? I was like, yeah, I'm betting on this and this. And then I didn't realize I'm pressing. She kept the pressing cost. it. There she goes again. Ah! There, you just bet again. You put I bet in... my last. I, went, I put in 20 and I was up to 45. And then this guy messed it all up. <laughs> And I lost 40, and now I'm at five, putting it on black. Wow. How's so it moment feel? Moment of truth. Will How's I it feel? Moment of truth. Five bucks. Will I get it? On black. Here we go. And I lost it. No I way. I lost everything. It's all gone. You know, I lost hey. I lost everything. Hey. Stick to OnlyFans. Oh. Uh, no, stick to Bitcoin. There we go. <laughs> He just this said, wow, I'm not sure. Restarted with, what did you start with? $5. $5. Look at that. $55. That's a good investment. $50. That's a good investment. And I lost $45. <laughs> In one hand. And I gave him $10 and he because lost. Because of Tino. What so he a, lost like $55. What a POS this guy is. Huh? It's the worst. Tell me about it. following day. Today is the day of the event. I am beat up, a little bit hungover, but we're going to persevere. Tina Wieners is here watching some terrible movie. It's not a terrible movie. It's called Overboard. It's really cute. It's old. Has, if you've ever heard of this movie or seen this movie, I would love to know Overboard. in the comments below. I've never heard of it or seen it. He's from the Guardians of the Galaxy, remember? Yeah, yeah. He's a great actor. I don't know the name. This is what we got going on out here. 
rainy and poop town. Um, we're actually going to go down to the pool for a little bit and try and hang out and maybe grab some food. And then we have the event tonight at 530. So that should be a lot of fun as well. Are you excited, teen or wieners? To kind of use a nap. Yeah, I could too. I had a headache. I didn't sleep very well. If you know what I mean. Oh, gosh. <laughs> All right. We made it down to the pool area. It doesn't look as big on camera, but it's really cool down here. They have like a nice little pool bar. Obviously, they have the pool itself. Um, in the summer, that's actually open over there, and you can swim under, the pool goes outside, which is really cool. And if it was like snowing in here, it'd be really dope. Actually, when we came a long time ago um, on the channel, it was snowing, and it was really fun. We came here for my birthday, I mentioned that earlier. But um, yeah, I'm still feeling pretty beat up, but I got a Steli with my brother. All right, so then we ended up getting some, some food here for the day, wings. We got some chips and some and dips. salsa uh, dips, I should say. Yeah. And then Tino and I are doing I'll a steli. Passes, yeah. See if that helps me feel better. Pray for us. Okay, we're all dressed up. I don't remember the last time I wore a suit. Probably for my brother's wedding. Yeah. Would be my guess. I was um, around size. They said it was long. like cocktail attire, so you can kind of wear like whatever, but it should be dressy, I think. But now we're seeing people we're... walk around with jeans on, so. And I don't jackets. Know. Here, let me show you. Dress. Let me show you Christina's. Outfit. <laughs> Thank you. Um, so Christina's wearing a black dress. Who is this? I'm wearing a gown, like a one up ball gown. Who is this from? Who are you wearing? JJ dress. <laughs> online shopping. Very nice. Very nice. Yeah, you look really nice. And it's uh, it's pretty dressy. So she very, was very she dressy. was afraid to wear it. Tino, I like your outfit. Show them what you're wearing. Where did you get this? Banana Republic. Banana Republic. You can see the pants, they're plaid with navy, and I love the matching shoes to his blazer. And he's got the uh, turtleneck under it. It's badass. Reese's got a black dress on. Do you know where it's from? Amazon. Amazon. <laughs> I love it. I actually really like her shoes. Oh, they're red in the Amazon. back and black in the front. They look really good. You want to show them my outfit? Yeah. You see the whole thing? Look at that. All right. Who are you wearing? Can you believe it. It's, it's Express, actually. It's Gucci. <laughs> there you go. That's that's what you wanted. <laughs> for the tie. It looks good. All right. So this hotel is actually pretty remarkable. This is the little well, the first part of the event. So again, this event is for the Warhorse HSBK race team. Um, so it's Moto America. They use Ducatis, and they have two riders, uh, Josh Heron, I believe, this year, and I think Loris Baz is the other one. Um, so they're all here. I think they're gonna show us their motorcycles, which are in here. And then we're gonna find out like the new sponsors and stuff for the for this. Actually, I already found out what it is. I believe Josh was already, Josh Heron was already sponsored by OnlyFans. And now I think um, their other rider is as well. And it might even be an entire race team sponsor, but we'll find out later. But how funny is that? You got one of the top OnlyFans models in the world here. And now the OnlyFans is sponsoring motorcycle racing, which is what we do. Not what we do, but motorcycles. Anyway, pretty cool. And Christina's been getting complimented on her dress. She was afraid to... Out there? They get a lot of looks. Two compliments. I know. I don't like dressing up either. Like, as much as we put stuff online, you might think that we, that we like attention, but we actually don't. Um, because normally we're just talking to a camera, not a bunch of people. So it's a little bit different. But I'm excited to see the, the new bikes and the livery and all that kind of stuff. I'll probably talk to Josh and some of them. And um, yeah, cheers, man. So check this out. This is where they're going to do their official unveiling of everything. Beautiful room. They got the bikes over here undercover. We can take a quick peek, maybe. Look how cool this is, dude. They've got like media over here, big cameras. Look at that. They're going to unveil unveil the livery so they got three different bikes so I'm very curious to see what this is the youngest European champion ever 15 years old he won the super stock 600 title he's won world superbike races he's raced in MotoGP and spent a season no. here in the US posting nine podium finishes in Moto America Superbike including three of three in his last three races please welcome back Loris Baggs <laughs> So ladies and gentlemen, I give you the 2024 Ducati Pentagon and V4Rs of the new OnlyFans Racing Warhorse Ducati team. Let's see the bikes. Oh, that's badass. Oh, yeah.
Look at that. Wow. <laughs> wow, Josh. I, 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 this is the first time I've seen it, and I absolutely love it. Really no, I don't have one yet. It was spectacular. One day. I have, a, I have the record. Uh, I have seen it. We should get one. Alright, so I don't know if you guys have seen this face on social media, but he's Zach from Why Not Rise. He does all kinds of cool <laughs> shit, I know. I try, I try. Yeah. And um, he's here. So what are you doing now? You're working with Warhorse? Uh, yes, HSBK. Uh, they need a little help bringing to light the experience of the actual Moto America season, and I'm here to highlight that. Yeah, so. so that's cool. So he's going to be documenting that, putting it on social media. Sure. Yeah, and that's going to be really cool. And I've talked to Josh a couple of times about the importance of social media, and obviously he's embraced it, and he's here as well, which is super cool. But um, look at how cool his camera is. He's got a Sony A7, what is it? A7S3. Mark III? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, it's about that. Yeah. So he uses nice cameras, he's like, we're going to take some photos of you. And I was like, I just use my phone. Yeah, I mean, more power to you. If you can do that, I'm, I'm terrible with the phone. My girlfriend's oh, really? like, because I tilt it the wrong way. Yeah. She knows. Oh, yeah. She knows. She yells at me for the angles. And yeah, shit. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, so I'll get let you guys see the, a little more of a close up of the race bikes for this season. So the V2 Panigale is for the Daytona. Uh, 200 I believe there's a 300 I forget which one it is but that's what Josh is going to be riding he won it last year so he's going to be uh, riding the V2 for that it's the same livery so the OnlyFans is now an official sponsor of the team which is crazy um, but you can see how badass that is it's crazy because we're giving away Christina's V2 uh, this month actually so it's cool to see that you know I've done a million build series whoops, with Panigales um, and then here's the, v, the V4 uh, obviously with the OnlyFans on it they've got it on the helmet I love the color. I don't know if it'll come across on camera, but there's like glitter in it too. And these are like Only, OnlyFans official colors. Look how badass that is. Very good looking livery with the OnlyFans. We gotta get pictures of Christina on here. But yeah, it's cool to see like a lot of these parts, you know, we've used for our motorcycles. You know, the Brembo, Course Court, the Masters, the Domino buttons and grips. Um, different, well, those are probably special calipers. But I think those are T-Drive floating rotors. Um, obviously got the Spider uh, dry clutch on there. So yeah, it's just crazy to see racing bikes. Obviously they're using at Kropovich because they're one of the best brands in the world. Um, they're not allowed to use carbon wheels, so they have the Marcassini, I believe. Yeah, forged wheels. And I met the Marcassini uh, family, which is really cool. But yeah, I mean, the bikes look, look pretty damn amazing. And I'm excited to see how they do this year. All right, so that's the end of the event right here. Give you guys one last look at the beautiful motorcycles. Look super nice. The riders are over there. I was chatting with um, Josh Heron and Loris. Super nice people. And uh, I'm excited for them. They actually even mentioned yeah, um, possibly having Christina come out to some races and doing some like modeling for the team, which would be really cool, like Umbrella Girl and be there at the stand so people can meet her and like hang out with the riders and stuff. So um, that could be fun too. We could go to some of the Moto America races. So let me know if that would be some content that you guys would be interested in seeing um, because that would be something really fun. And they've, they've been asking us to go to some races for a while now. So um, yeah, if you guys, if it's, if it's, we would probably do a vlog style similar to this. Um, so it wasn't just motorcycle stuff. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys think about something like that. All right, finally leaving the War Horse Racing event. Um, everyone was super nice. Uh, the bikes look awesome. I'm really excited to see how they do this year. It was really nice to talk to the riders as well. They're all super nice. And um, yeah, we're just thankful to be, to be a part of stuff like this. And I hope that you guys enjoy watching stuff like this. So um, I think that's where we're going to end it. We're gonna, just going to go and hang out in the casino and hang out with Watch everyone. everyone blow their money. Yeah, I don't want to like be throwing cameras in everyone's faces all night. Um, so yeah, so that's where we're going to end it. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let us know and, if you like vlogs. and continuing to support us. We really appreciate it. And if you did enjoy the video, give it a big old juicy thumbs up. Subscribe for more. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye. Peace.